Nothing interesting. Huh? I have a plan. Huh? Read this. Tater fritters with bacon for four people, four kilos ah. of... Hurricane threatens Louisiana. Cormac City prison evacuated. One, imminent catastrophe. Two, panic. Three, prison evacuated. Four, escape! But there's no hurricane here. Who cares? What counts is that Peabody believes a catastrophe is coming. <laughs> Mr. Peabody, something terrible is about to happen. Well, 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 what terrible thing? <laughs> something really terrible. Look at the signs. There, vultures soaring. Huh? I saw a black cat. The kid? Where's the kid? Dogs howl mournfully. <laughs> Flies write messages in the air. Catastrophe. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. This month, I am selling this fabric woven from coyote hair for $10. Wear it as a... a loincloth, or a shawl, or a bath towel, and... An Indian prophecy! Catastrophe! Absolutely right! Lovely fabric plus Indian prophecy for catastrophe for only $20! That's scary! We must evacuate the prison! Come on, nothing but a bunch of silly superstition out of the question. But, uh, the signs... What signs? I'll believe a catastrophe is heading here when chickens grow teeth. <laughs> Avril and Jack, find the chickens. We'll get the teeth. <laughs> oh. Joe, I've got the teeth. <laughs> you ninny. Hens. Did Peabody say when eggs grow teeth? This was more discreet. We just need to hatch them. Ah. Cluck, 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 cluck. Maybe there was a chicken disguised as a kid. That one. Me too. No, I'm flying. <laughs> 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 the teeth! <laughs> that tickled! <laughs> Here he comes! <laughs> Mr. Peabody, look! Behind you! Chickens with teeth! We can't wait forever, Mr. Peabody. What chickens? Ah! If you fly once again, fly forever. <laughs> so, what does the cloth say? Oh, it's not so easy. A snake or tree? <laughs> and flying teeth. What does that sign mean? Uh -huh. But since I'm telling you that chickens grew teeth, we have to evacuate. Joe, I will evacuate the prison when donkeys fly. <laughs> huh? When a dog starts acting strange, can it be a sign of catastrophe, Mr. Peabody? Sometimes it's better not to think about things like that. <laughs> <laughs> Look! A flying donkey! <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it's not flying. Hey, oh! What do you mean it's not flying? Flying means being in movement. That one. Oh, come on. Don't be so fussy. That donkey is flying. Anyway, it's not a donkey. It's a mule. Huh? Well, it's a flying mule. No, no. It's floating. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying this. We're in for a catastrophe. We will leave when a herd of pink elephants dances the polka on the trampoline in a rainstorm of violin playing frogs. Uh, this could take some time, but it could happen. Ugh. 
Uh, certain information related to the legends of uh, flying teeth tell us that the catastrophe will take place in uh, uh, 12 minutes. And now this cloth is worth $45. Ah, something's on fire in the sky! Someone save us! I say, these broken wing catastrophes aren't all that spectacular. We're safe! <laughs> Well, are you Dalton boys still hold up? <laughs> this plan was a catastrophe for real. <laughs> Northwind squeeze bad dreams. Let's hurry home, children. We're going to build a nightmare catcher. An arts and crafts class? Ah! Ah! Mr. Peabody, sir, strong winds are predicted today. You don't say. <laughs> Ow! Joe, give me back my axe. That's not funny. You can say that again, not funny. you wanted to do. When can we start? Why, you've refused that activity ten times over. You said we're Dalton brothers, not Dalton sisters. It's never too late to change your mind. Hey, Joe, did that axe to the face do this to you? Since when are we interested in basket weaving? Since it's our new escape plan. <laughs> These are bulrushes. That's what we use to weave baskets. There, you see, it's very simple. Over to you now. It's easy. Watch this. All in the wrist. Remember the way we tied a bank cashier? Same thing. So, what's the plan? We make big empty balls, we climb inside, and the wind carries us up and out of here fast. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just part of learning. I'd rather your learning didn't get up my nose, but let's keep going. Well done, Joe. I had no idea you had talent as a teacher. <laughs> uh, that's original and quite modern. These are called eggs. The Broken Wings taught me this. See, you just shut yourself inside these eggs a few minutes every day, and you find inner peace. Well, that is so moving, Joe. We really should reach out to each other. You and I are not so different after all. Uh, eggs? Mm -hmm. Decidedly, those Dalton brothers never fail to amaze me. <laughs> Let me help. 
help you. Come on, let's go find our inner peace outside. The Daltons are escaping! Alert! I knew they were up to something. Those brothers are always up to something. Here, take this and bring them back. <laughs> I love catching butterflies! Ow! Yeah, I didn't know butterflies could say ow! You win some, you lose some! We are going to build a dream catcher that will stop nightmares from creeping into your dreams. Here's how we do it. Hmm, with wind this strong, we have to make a big one. <laughs> He's right. Time to get out. But Joe, it's stuck. I can't open it. I don't believe it. I can't either. Excellent. Now we'll sleep like a totem log. Good night, little braves and scrolls. Good night, Dominic Stockton. Ah, ah, this chain is a real pain. Oh, oh. Ah. Ah. That's what a nightmare looks like. It's really ugly. How right you are. Let's take you back to the land of nightmares. Hi there, fabulous falcon. Okay, things don't look great for us, but we can make a deal, right? Dream about it. <clears throat> huh? Nightmare delivery time. <laughs> hey, Daltons. What made you breeze in like this? <laughs> oh, when will it ever stop raining? The water's still rising. Mm -hmm. off by the storm, we are afloat a vast uncharted sea. But fear not, your captain will bring you to port, so ye sailors sail, and ye boatswains swain. I didn't know you navigated. When I was a boy, we grow our little skiff on the pond to fish. I still have my sailor's cap. Hoist the main sail! Lower the boom! Lean to Starbucks! I've got a plan. Ooh. We swim to freedom. Wait, we know how to swim. Once you hit the water, you'll learn really fast. Okay, who's first? Uh, think we can touch bottom? Go check! Dalton's overboard! Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, that wasn't an escape attempt. They are not crazy. They don't know how to swim. Refugee mm -hmm. alongside! Oh. 
sailor's code of honorism. Take him on board. Refugee, have no fear. You are safe here with Captain Peabody. <laughs> I am Redbeard the pirate, the dread of the desert. And now of this ship and all of its treasures all belong to me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe. We two will get on fine. Redbeard the pirate has no friends. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, uh, Looks like the Daltons were forced to have a bath. It's time you disappear. I've got a plan. We shimmy down to the raft. We slice the rope. That way, we escape. All dry. I'm not going anywhere until I know how to swim. <laughs> so I teach you guys to swim and you help me escape. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And don't forget to keep breathing. Breathe out! Now let's speed up! <laughs> okay, you're ready. Ready to go? Therefore, if we float on the ground, we float on the water. How about making ourselves vests out of stuff that floats to be on the safe side? No one leaves without me. Well, of course, after you, dear Redbeard. Let's test the magnitude of this vessel's capacity. Top sail, open maximumism! <laughs> <laughs> Get to scrubbing. Huh? My name is Joe Dalton, and I'm the boss, okay? No one tells Redbeard the pirate what to do. Yeah! He's out of his mind! Come and see, Joe. Well, what's the point? Miss Betty, I got through to the Humpty Dumpty Company. They'll set us right side up. <laughs> it's cool. Dad thinks I'm at school. I sent a clone in my place. <laughs> in some prehistoric prison. Call you back.
What's this thing? Oh. 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 <laughs> Zoe. Cloning effect successful. Avril 1.2, first generation clone. That's funny, we have the same name. So you're a clown, are you, Mr. 1.2? Hmm? Check, Check it, it out! out. I don't know where that double comes from. Clown or not, we're using him to get out of here. Next year, Fabulous Falcon will perform the Great Spirit Chant at a reasonable hour. This is bad. I have to get my dad's cloner back to 2872. If he finds out I used it to skip class, I'm in big trouble. The Great Spirit is a squall. Huh? <laughs> Everyone will be in the yard for our gym class. Since no one knows you exist, you'll be the one to sneak into Peabody's office and grab the keys. Sorry, a clone only obeys his original. Even worse than the original. Oh, so Avril steals the keys while Avril's double pretends to be Avril. Got it? That won't work. He'll only obey Avril. I'll just do everything like me. And one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three. Come on, guys. One more set. And one, Wait, and Wait, I two, love figure skating. Three, Especially hairs. Are there. Sorry to interrupt, mm -hmm. Miss Betty, but I would like Avril to step out of line. Mm -hmm. Raise your arms. Stretch them wide. Raise your left arm, lower your right, and raise your left foot. <laughs> Double axle with an extra twist. Ten point out of ten. Uh, light show! Oh, bless you! <laughs> Check it, it out. out! This is Avery, Avril's twin brother. They have been separated since birth. <sighs> How deeply touching. Their innate complicity has remained intact. Please let him stay with us just for a while. <sighs> Mr. Director, it would be cruel to separate brothers reunited at long last. <laughs> Fine, but do try to use your double to try and escape, twins. <laughs> Avril's double is blown, so I'll clone myself. With two of me, escape will be easy, eh? Uh, how did I do this before? Hmm? You're holding it backwards, Joe. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm Avril 1.3, second generation clone. What a handsome dog. Such poise, we could very well be Avril! related. Where are you? I want to document this event. Hide in here. Sorry, I only obey Avril 1.2. Ah! Tell your clone to order your clone's clone to hide. What's a clone anyway? I wonder who that could be. What are you doing, young lady? How did you get here? Where's your horse? If I told you, you wouldn't understand. What impertinence! I demand an explanation! Okay, if you insist. My space temporal scooter's 4D GPS got bugged. I'm here to get my cloner. That cool? Your answer's a bit baffling, actually. A cloner is used to duplicate people. It looks like those Neolithic brothers have used it. Have you seen a big guy with a mustache? Ooh. Check it out! Well, what? Haven't you ever seen triplets? Guards, search the Daltons and grab the... The, the cloner! The thing! Ha 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 ha! Show some respect for a big family! This jail's full of copycats, but what talent!
It's cool, guys. Nobody's looking. Let's go. I'm free. We did it. Stop them. <laughs> 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 Great Spirits, pardon us. We pressed this and found ourselves in the Great Spirits' very strange land. The clones will disappear by themselves in a month or two. So long, ancestors! A month or two? But where can we put them? Ah, as Miss Betty said, it would be cruel to keep the Dalton brothers apart. <laughs> will you pick up my other sock, Joe? I can't ask you a clone. Sorry, I only obey everyone 1.28. <laughs> Stop it right there.